come and say, but you're my son. You have to take care of me now. Or you are my daughter. Mm -hmm. And seriously, if they had never been in the lives of the children and never done anything for them, I do not see any obligation for the children to do anything for them. But then again, no child has asked to be here. It's like some persons do it like, like it's a business. Yeah. Right, do this for you. So, so you have to do this return. for me now. Yeah, and it's no, not like no, no, it doesn't work like My kids didn't ask to be here, so they're not, uh, they don't owe me a thing. I owe of them everything. Not. No child owe, owe their parents. Anything. Yeah, but that's what, what yeah, people know, think. People. Even if the, the child had the, the, the wanted to do it, Mm -hmm. Based on what um, certain parents said, that alone are just going to be a big turnover. Well, let's just say it simple. You reap what you sow. Yeah. Okay. And right now, I can say for myself, damn, do I reap. <laughs>
so yeah mommy how do you manage i think they want some tips so try and see if you can oh, give them some valuable tips, tips on um, how to handle that i am actually not a very good person for that right <laughs> right now because if i think back i think i have had maybe maximum of three weeks where i did not have any of my children around all my not all my life all my mother life because as it happened um Melody was born last and at that time I was 39 years already and my other children started to like Yosha and Nikki started to leave the house but then I still had her small and then her sister eight years older and and that took a while and then somehow it, it's really interesting throughout the years something happened to to my children at times that they decided, oh, we have to come home for a while. You know, so basically, even here in Jamaica, it was like, oh, I'll, I'll, uh, uh, even when I came back here to Jamaica, or before, Yosha went to Germany for a while to do his uh, civil service, came back. Then all four of we were here. Then all four of we had to leave to Germany. Then uh, basically, Nikki decided to come back to Jamaica. The other three were still in Germany. Yosha moved out of the house, but then I had my two daughters still. Then, even, I mean, it, it continues on and on and on. Things did happen in our lives, all of our lives, that always had one child with me. Up to now, up to this day. <laughs> Well, oh, well, you could. Day. I guess maybe you could talk more about the the adult life, because of course, if we yeah, were yeah, small, of we were stuck. yeah, but I mean, still, well, you know, I mean, even but... all your adult lives, uh, something, when one uh, got in a in a trouble, uh, Mayumi, when Yosha was here, and decided to go, which is basically story time coming up, but. Uh, Mayumi decided to come back then then she was here still then um, none of my children were here apart from Mayumi for a while because she left to Germany and so but uh, somehow I always had one child around. basically then, two. we took our turns yeah <laughs> take their turns for true and then basically you too I have to say Yosha for example he is such a sweetheart he's basically calling every day like on his way to work, he has his WhatsApp. It's early in the morning and he calls in and hey, everything all right. I'm on my way to work, which I know. And then we talk a bit and then, oh, I reach work, you know, and then that's it for the day. But at least we talk, mm -hmm. you know, was the same with my other chair. Whenever they were somewhere abroad, they would call in frequently or I would call him or whatever. I'm, I'm a bad caller. I tell you. <laughs> they had to call. I'm, I'm not a caller, you know. No, but, surprisingly. Oh. When I was in Germany, you would actually call a lot of times. Okay. Well, I guess that's because I'm wash belly. Yeah, maybe, could be. But anyhow, um, that, nowadays with the nowadays technology, it's so fantastic. It's so easy to keep in contact, even to see the people, see them, not only speaking to them, but you can directly see them. And I appreciate that a lot because, of course, then I can see my grandchildren that are in Germany or mm -hmm. in America that I hardly see otherwise. Or uh, you just keep contact. Yeah. Which, for example, exactly for with the small grandchildren, if they don't see me for a year or more sometime, of course, at their age, they would forget who is the, who is she, you know? But seeing that we can talk over, uh, over WhatsApp or so with uh, video and stuff, for them the face is still familiar and the person is still familiar and that helps a lot in keeping up the contact too. I mean that is very very practical. <laughs> so uh, seeing all that, uh, I'm not really a good one to get, give advice because as I was saying there's always one around and then the others are available at all times basically. And, and that is wonderful. I appreciate it. I love it. And I wish every parent could have that with their children. So I, I would take out of it, say, um, to, to 
how you best could manage with your children all living you know in separate places is just keep keeping a frequent yeah, contact keep contact with them sometimes that's all you need to do just show interest like literally just show interest show that you're you're reaching out even if there's nothing new to talk about just reach out same way and say hey you know just checking in and that will make them feel you know still very much involved or if new things happen just call them up and say guess guess who me just see or guess what just happened or you know just keep them involved knowing that for example if you know my my brothers in the states if anything happens here mommy would be like guess what happened today or you know this and that happened today or whatsoever mm. so i think um well, you know he tells me because sometimes he hears over there before we hear you <laughs> so i think the communication is the key is yeah. is key in Definitely. keeping um that kind of contact going so i'm going to bring in din din now din din um you have been in in situation where you know your right. parents weren't I always more, around, right? I'm more like your mom. I'm not ready to call <laughs> people like that. So if even we just say a while ago, you see, if if you want me feel more involved, mm -hmm. then me we take up my phone and say, hey, whatever. But if me not feel like say me involved, I'm not gonna call you. That's just it. All right, me do remember you know them more call you. So, so really have much to say towards it. So you yeah, you need somebody to show interest, basically. Once you're showing interest, then yeah. you also you show interest. Yes. <laughs> so um. So how is your contact basically to your parents? Let's say it's alright. If if we not talk for like a couple of days, whenever we see, we see each other or talk on the phone, it just feel like me that talked to her yesterday or talked to her before yeah. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it, it just depends on the dynamic that you have guys so i don't know if you want to put this in there but when you one of your parents was working on ship right mm -hmm. when they were gone on ship did you have frequent contact with them yeah, in those times yeah for like almost like every basically every day okay so that is that is the uh, yeah. So I get that from him. Yeah. Basically. Okay. The everyday thing. Yeah. So a day we would go pass and him call out about school, make sure he's in good school or something. Yeah. Family. So that that is the interest part. Show and say, even though I'm not physically present, so I still want it. to know. No matter what, me can't leave him out. <laughs> See, and it, it brings up over into the adulthood of you know, cause there there is always this discussion sometime that there is this discussion as a child do you feel obligated to your parents once they get older and basically can't fend for themselves anymore and stuff like that is is it is it a feeling of should it be a feeling of obligation or a feeling of i'm doing it because i love them so much or i respect them so uh, much honestly or, i think it's both both yeah because i mean it's like when my mother uh, was older and couldn't take care of herself if you remember my story time i make sure i went over to germany and took care of her and set up everything for her and tried my best but then again i had a life as well mm -hmm. in jamaica so i had to 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 make choices at the time and 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 see how i could get everything organized but i would have loved her to come with me here and then knowing that i would be able to really take care of her but, but it never worked out but uh so honestly i mean i i would have done everything for her because of love for but sure. suppose now this is this is the question suppose you don't have a good um relationship with your parent does it I think come down to it, obligation at that point? Well, not That's having a good not. relationship has a history. You know, I mean, you don't ha have a good relationship just like so. You know, that those are things that develop over the years, mm -hmm. over a long, long period of time. Mm -hmm. And then I would say it, it depends how severe the, the, the break is between... Mm -hmm the person and the parents mm -hmm. you know because i have seen here for example a lot of children that um were not raised by their fathers 
Mm-hmm. And then when the fathers became old and frail and fragile, they would come and say, but you're my son, you have to take care of me now, or you are my daughter. Mm-hmm. And seriously, if they had never been in the lives of the children and never done anything for them, I do not see any obligation for the children to do anything for them. Very, very honest. Because you haven't done anything for your children. I think it's a it's a vice versa situation. Mm-hmm. We raise our children with a lot of love and being there and, and responsibility and, and being their, their anchor in life for the longest time. So when we get old now, after having done all that, and we might get frail and not be able to do certain things, I would hope that my children would love to take care of me through love. Mm-hmm. Not because they feel obligated, but because, hey, the, the, the powers have changed. Mm-hmm. You know, there are some nice, nice uh, cartoons sometimes where you first see the mother or father with a small child, and then they are both adults, and then uh, the, the son or daughter is the adult, and the, the little old lady or man are beside them, and that is how our life is going. Yeah. It shifts, it changes. And that is why we have to work on our relationships, children, friends, whatever, from a very very early time. Mm -hmm. Because everything changes, everything shifts. So basically, you would say that um, for it to come to that point, the parent has to basically earn their Earn their, the same way. Their sure. what would you call it? Their their um uh, yeah. taking care of their their Well that uh, uh yeah, how would you would call it? How would you call that specific thing what I'm trying to say? Mm, I don't find a word for it right now. What do you call when you're taking care of a baby? Child care, baby care, <laughs> Par- old people okay, care. Okay, parent care. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, yeah, but I think people are not really aware, especially when they get their children very young. Mm-hmm. They are not aware of the the well. When I'm 21 or 18 or 25, of course I'm not thinking about getting 65, 60, 70 or whatever age, right? I didn't neither at the time, but. Now, knowing what I know, I could only advise any young parent, be aware, whatever you do now, it it, it builds to something Mm -hmm. that probably later on, when things turn around, change around, will uh, build a much, much better relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, Because (laughs) I, I, I do not really want to have the feeling that my children would do something for me because they feel obligated. Mm-hmm. I think then I'm not sure I would try on my own. Because then again, I feel like the obligation there is just like, all right, say for example, you know, for us personally in my family, I think even if mommy would become or get to a stage where she cannot fend for herself any at all, adopt any of us would say okay we would put her in a home thank you (laughs) adopt any of us would say that because the feelings that we would have or the love we would have towards her we would more feel better knowing say okay one of us are we we you know take our turns in taking care of her or something basically (laughs) you know because in a home you never know what can happen you don't know how the the the, um people are treating them you so when I think it, when it boils down to just being an obligation, it's like, all right, I'm obligated to do this right now. So I'm just going to put her in a, any home in a business just as long as, you know, she's getting taken care of. But them not necessarily go and visit them often or stuff like that. They just want to know, okay, she's taken care of. I can continue living my life. So that's where I think it's important to see that you do try to to... to treat your children properly that when the favor needs to be returned your children can say all right you know say uh, my parents them me. do this for me my respect them for that so let me give them yeah. my respect as well <laughs> so ding ding round us a yarn 
what do you think? Do you think it boils down to all right? If if you're in the situation where you don't get along with one of your parents or both of them or whatsoever, and it comes to the stage of you know them needing help, do you think you're obligated to help, or you would say, "Cha, them not deal with me good, so me not deal with them good neither." No, I would say obligated. That would have to you have boil down to the type of person I am, mm -hmm. right? At the end of the day, my father and my mother, me at them bring me come here. Me not go just left them just so. Understand? But I don't know, I don't know, no obligation is there. Me do it because it's our willing heart, basically. Or because we want to do it. So you are just doing it. So that would be the question. Mm -hmm. Are you just doing it to keep your conscience clean? Not conscience, you know, but at them bring me come here. So knowing that. Them do the them in need, me now I can just, they, just sit back and let that slide. They understand the message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, because for me, alright, for me personally, right now, I also, you know, my father hasn't been in my life like that. And I don't have a good relationship with him at all. And he's made some, some, some you remarks. know remarks saying oh when i get old you're gonna have to take care of me and stuff and for me when i hear that it kind of builds Shit, up some know. form of resentment that no would have come it's, to do the same thing it's just like you feel like i'm obligated to do it no i'm not obligated no. to do it no. i am not obligated if i do end up doing it it's because i decided okay you know, no matter what, me say me go do this or whatsoever. But don't come and look at me and say, oh, you have to go take care of me. I don't have to do shit. <laughs> I literally. You know what could, could be interesting too? Like say, right? I, I have a partner that gets old as well. And he was in your life more and more intense mm -hmm. than your fa real father ever was. Mm -hmm. I think it would be easier for you to take care of that person, although yeah. he's not your life father, mm -hmm. than the person that was not involved in her life at all. So you do not come when you get old and, and, and try to make her feel guilty now or, yeah. or you're not obligated in taking care of you. I would never agree with that. Mm, never agree with that. So to me, I don't think it <clears throat> boils down to obligation. It more just boils down to if that child love, loves their parents enough to say okay hey you know i'm willing to do this or if they if they have a like enough for that parent to say you know i'll do this because sometimes no, no love not involved like that anymore um so guys please do not feel like your children are obligated to do this or that because oh, often yeah. often often the 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 logic behind it is though that say oh me bring your pan this earth and me raise you me me, me feed you me bring you through school and stuff then it again it all depends how you did it but then again no child has asked to be here <laughs> No, no, I mean, the, exactly, then again, exactly, no child has exactly. said, Hey, mommy, yeah, it all depends. I want to be on this earth. Like, actually, yeah. I, I do believe in that form, though. You know that, yeah, it's it's like, like for you, a, it's another theme. You just <laughs> talk about reincarnation and blah, blah. reincarnation and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, no child was asked to be in a certain type of situation for you to turn around and say hey but i did this for you it's or like, throw it in your no, face no that should never happen it's like some persons do it like like it's a business yeah right, we do this for you so, so you have to do this return. for me now yeah and it's no, not like no, no it doesn't work like that at you, all it does not work like you that you decided to do whatever you wanted in the bedroom that caused me to reach here so do not throw it in my face and say oh but me do this and that for you like did I did I say go in the bedroom and do your business? <laughs> I didn't say that. So um, I think there was also a quote from Elon Musk where he was like, um, "My kids didn't ask to be here, so they're not. Uh, they don't owe me a thing." 
I owe of them everything. Not. No child owe their parents. Anything. Yeah, but that's what what yeah, people that's think. People that's think, what parents I, think. I do not agree with that. You either. owe me because I brought you through school. I brought you through this and that. I brought you through. No, owing should never come into it by both sides. I mean, my children don't owe me, and 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 I don't owe anything to my children right right now. Neither, you know. Because I tried my best to raise them, mm -hmm. I made my mistakes like everybody, and 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 we had our rough time, enough time. But I tried my best, but and, and still I would not go there and say, "Oh, I'm old now. You have to take care of me." No, I, I personally would never do that. I would put myself in a home <laughs> before I do that. I'm serious. Well, but even... seeing that my children might be kind enough and loving enough to take care of me of course it's a wonderful feeling for me you know and i appreciate it but to be honest i think i earned it i, I worked on it i did work on it even oh, if joke. <laughs> <laughs> even if the child had the, the, the wanted to do it mm -hmm. based on way um certain parents said that alone i just could be a big turn on. it's like you cause upon yourself to make them no one to carry it Mm -hmm. Because of the stuff that you're seeing. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, respect you, both yeah. sides. You know, respect is a big, big, big thing. But there's there, that is also another thing where it's just like because parents feel like oh they brought you into this world that you have to respect them, but they don't have to respect you. No, yeah, it's always up. mutual. And that's wrong. It is always mutual. You cannot treat somebody like like a bad person or a non-titi or whatever and expect respect in return and i mean that is with all human relationships if i have friends and i disrespect them how can i expect they respect me yeah it cannot work it is very simple you do uh, uh, don't do to others what you don't want to be done to yourself it's like make sure that what you do to others then you can expect the same treatment back. Now, if you respect them and are nice and friendly, you should be able to to expect back that kind of treatment. It will, won't always happen, but it is more to be expected as if you are always like, like somebody using people or, or talking about people or doing uh, bad things or so. Hey, karma is a bitch. It comes back to you, <laughs> you know? So, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as mommy said, it is just, you know, as a parent, you still have to, to, to be respectful enough and, you know, um, responsible enough to basically, to basically, um, say, secure your parent care with and your child. Boundaries as well. <laughs> yeah so um yeah just just try i mean if if you're a good parent i'm sure you don't have anything to worry about because as i said if it's if it comes from a place of love either way you're going to be okay i think so too, but if yeah. it if it is a feeling of obligation that <clears throat> it can it can happen that you know it's not the 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 you won't be put in the best places let's say it that way because then there's also, like, people would say, oh, you know, if they came from a poorer background and then one of the children actually made it and stuff, and they would be like, it's time for them to go in a home, it would be like, they expect the top of the top homes, like the most expensive one, because, oh, my child is making this and that much money, but if the childhood or the raising or the parent wasn't that nice, they would be like, no, at least you should be glad that I'm putting you in a home right now. Or I'm actually taking care of you. But for them, it would be like, but you have this much money. Why are you not putting me in a five-star home? Well, let's just say it's simple. You reap what you sow. Yeah. Simple good enough. one. You reap, you reap what, you, what sow. you sow. That is a very, very good, good, um, good statement to, to you know. Pull it all together. And right now, I can say for myself, damn, do I reap? <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy is reaping from early. Are really, really, really fantastic, and and our relationship is wonderful, and I enjoy it to the max, and I'm very, very grateful for it. 
and uh, mommy is reaping from early guys seriously i mean and i don't mind it at all <laughs> <laughs> so dindin anything else you want to add no that's that's it for me so i say i love alone i do it love and kindness out of your heart well like i was saying in the beginning not to, like what you tried to say maybe yeah. is you might love your parents even if they treated you wrong yes yes but then the obligation part comes in because you might not love them enough to Be really 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 take them up them. and then it's like oh my god but they are still my parents you know and that is where the mix come in between love and obligation mm -hmm. and i think that can happen pretty frequently as well in life yeah so then then what you say? Is it just a maybe? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Well, guys, um, this was you know our little discussion. I'm sure you can hear the rain on the yep. car top and stuff. Harder, so, harder. Um, yeah. Basically, you reap what you sow. Let me know down below what your stance is on um this topic do you feel obligated to your parents or is it something that should be done purely out of love and kindness out of your heart so let me know down below this is our little discussion for today shout outs to din din official tv around there you know check him out and of course we have mommy as always and no mommy story time today <laughs> exactly i'm gonna get little talking Yay. <laughs> and you know as usual thank you guys so so much for watching please remember to like share and subscribe if you haven't already you want to say something yeah, but like i said before, um if this one is not enough for you guys i'm gonna post one today even one in the magazine <laughs> exactly you don't know you don't know? No. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever this come out, you can check out one discussion yeah, by yes. channel. We talk about money heists that happen in Portland, guys. Netflix series. Netflix series. <laughs> big, big Netflix series. We're going to Jamaica, yeah? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Okay, do it wrong. Come again. One. Yeah, I said bye-bye. Ready? Go on. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to allow the writing. This is my way. No, I say bye. bye. Alright, go on. One, Ready? two, three. Bye. bye. <laughs>